political stance of Emperor Shomu. Emperor Shomu conducted his politics based on Buddhist ideology. One major step as a part of overall plan was vow he took to construct Virokana, the great Buddha statue. He called upon all people of Japan to participate in his endeavor and in response to his call, over 2.6 million people participated, some from either through monetary or produced donation or through Kara Seva. This amounted to be over 50% of the total population of Japan at that time. This indicates the high degree of support the emperor used to enjoy among his people. This was certainly a major development and a study has been made here to find out emperor's political stance and how he could accomplish such a feat. This study explains clearly why Bodhisena could rise to such high rank in Japan at that time. In 8th century, Japanese ruling class aimed at building a nation based on law by imitating Chinese example. They prepared criminal laws and were engaged in constructing a national system based on law and order to provide basic legal structure for national law. In the first half of 8th century, the country was divided into about 60 administrative regions called Kuni. Based on the concept that sovereign ruling power vested with the emperor, the ruling class created a system in which political power vested in the central authority of emperor. This was integrate the masses in general by putting them under control of central government for which family registers were created all over the country. Mechanism to order the mobilization of army was put in place and a system of Hanen Shuju Ho, something similar to land leasing system was established based on the belief and the land belongs to the nation. Further, various measures were initiated to groom large number of bureaucrats who could then implement these policies. However, the new policy that was promoted at the national level gradually showed its contradictions around the time when Emperor Shomuz was enthroned Unable to bear heavy taxes, people started absconding away from their original place and this system continued to cause major social problem. In response to this phenomenon, government first introduced a system of three generation land ownership right for the land made cultivable by a respective individual. In 723 and 20 years later, a new law, Konden Einen Shizaiho, was introduced, which provided eternal ownership for such cultivable land. Through this law, the ownership right of the nation was transferred to the individual and private ownership mechanism was recognized. Emperor Shomu was enthroned in 724, tried to implement different policies one after another that he had learned during his crown prince learning tenure of 10 years. That was a condition in making an emperor. This included visibly easy to understand provision of beauty of the city, Nara the capital and purification of religious holy places such as temples and shrines and hard aspect as assuagement of punishment 
which is similar to the theory of banishing death penalty as a soft aspect. The policy of soft aspect indicates the stance of Emperor Shomu to give mercy to criminal. This merciful mind of Emperor was taken note by the people who were trapped in disastrous situation due to natural calamities such as earthquakes, droughts, famine, etc. That were faced by Japan in series after 723. It was felt that there were people who took to crime due to starvation and emperor adopted the path of pardoning such people from time to time while taking other measures such as providing cereals to the people without family and old persons. Through such helping stance, true origin of politics could be seen in governance of emperor. A typical model of such stance can be seen in the following words of pardon at time of natural calamity of 734. Ten years have passed since I took over the rule. I believe those who do not have virtue tend to commit crimes more. I have been thinking all along, even during sleep, about the possible solution so everybody could live happily. However, insufficient cereal production due to natural calamities and frequent earthquake have hampered all plans. I considered all this due to my imperfect governance. Its responsibility lies solely in me and the common people are not responsible for this. Under these circumstances, the generosity has been introduced in the governance and thus the mercy grant. However, this will exclude eight heinous crimes such as killing parents, etc. Proclamation of such words by the highest authority is not possible without an exceptional consciousness as a politician. His consideration to provide cereal to old people can be seen as one concrete example of instruction of the emperor. He introduced a system of providing cereals to the people by dividing them into various categories such as people of age 100 years or above, 80 years or above and others. He decided different quantity for different categories, even for those who not very old. For example, male person 61 year old or above without wife, female person 50 year or above without husband children at 16 or below and not having father. People at 61 or above but having no children were provided suitable supply in different categories. This type of policy was implemented all over country and this can be confirmed with old records also. Unfortunately, nature did not respond positively to the emperor's such kind of political posture country was afflicted with the outburst of smallpox. Immediately after this period in 735, a large number of people died due to this disease. Large number of villages faced improvisement. In other to fight such a grave situation, government have to work out various measures first to prevent epidemic. The emperor continued to devise ways and means to rescue people, but no measure yielded satisfactory result, and he was drawn towards the need to take measure to become spiritual pillar for the masses. The emperor came to a conclusion that last resort to rescue people from miseries and take nation towards prosperity was to propagate Buddhism all over the country. And he thought of two big projects. First one included establishment of official monk temple called Kokubunji temple, which was based on Golden Light Sutra in region 
in each religion kuni to bring peace for people and nuns temples called kokubunniji temple based on white lotus sutra the second one was based on flower or ornament sutra which is aimed at praying for prosperity of all living beings plants and animals beside of course peace for all japanese construction of vairokana in capital was symbol of the letter among these sutra golden light sutra and flower ornament sutra are significant in fact these two sutra recognize two different buddhist political thoughts